hello everybody today we're gonna open a new switch a network switch from aruba model number is one uh one eight three zero is an eight port switch small business layer two and i was looking for something to do for my home office and i found this one is more interesting because it's very cheap it in a in a good brand in a, in a very cheap price around 160 US, uh, sing dollar yeah let's open and it comes with this box some manuals and it has a as i said it's a small switch you can see it has eight ports this one is sitting can use for the management i guess and this one has a cloud function i hope you can see from the camera yeah and you can this is how you if you want to reset you can reset from here if it is a, if you don't know what is in the configuration you already have a switch running then if you don't know how to you know change any settings you can use a reset and re change then that's all and it's uh, uh, these are the s power and serials are here and it comes with power adapter is a UK type or British type and some mounting tools that's all let's see how to power up and start how to s let's see how to power up and configure the devices device yep you can see from here it's already connected to power power here and it's looking for the cloud configurations I think so let me connect my network cable you can see now it's blinking so let me open the configuration and I'll show you how we can configure this yes to access uh, <coughs> the switch uh, management interface right the IP the default IP address is 19 sorry ping 192.168.1.1 yes it's replying so before okay take note this that before you can to access the <coughs> management interface you may need to change your own uh, IP addresses to the same range which is 192.168.1.1 then open a browser yeah so open the browser then type HTTP six eight one dot one <laughs> yeah <clears throat> so there's the option whether you want to simply manage through the cloud portal or proceed to the local setup so I can just go to the local so it's asked for username and password the username is admin and there is no password so this time around I need to give a username and password so I just give username and password I just give yeah so we can see the information here when I set up network DHCP or if you have a static uh, I mean it's better to have a static IP rather than having a DHCP because if you want to access the management using I mean access this uh, switch through management IP then it's always better to have a static IP so that that you know these IPs are belongs to this one for me I'll put 200 is mine gateway is I think it's 254 Management HTTPS or HTTPS, HTTPS, I think I disable it. Keep HTTPS. <laughs> so, management VLAN is VLAN 1. So, if you want, you can change that. 
okay it's updating so i'm not able to 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 check whether the ping uh, ip address has changed you can just ping the old ip no one no reply and i have 200 yes it's replying so the ip address is changed so we just go to man yeah because i did fly off the http option i will go for https now so he's asking for certificate <coughs> but i mean a certificate is not valid blah blah because we don't have a certificate uh, yeah that's it so this is how you can enter the device <coughs> let me see what happens if we so i mean typically we have switching uh, configuration like spanning tree uh, this using our rapid spanning tree bridge id vlan i think it can go up to few number of vlans uh, i think nothing much i think i think we can go anything up to eight nine Anyway, it's a I mean, small uh, environment, no need a thousand VLANs, so that, that's fine. And network, okay, LLDP, LLDP is uh, like a, a C C called a C CDP. And you can see the interface status from here. Yeah, the link is up, down, securities. So, what kind of security is you want to implement here? Yeah, see here we can update your own if you have a valid certificate from either certificate provider or you have your own internal certificate server then you can use that and ping options cable test let's test the cable length is below 50 mm, looks interesting like addressable also you can see from here maintenance something is new yeah i think backup configuration all these things set up network linear management time user management time. so here you can set up your own time or you can just say for me i live in gmt plus eight So this is mine and today's date is 2023 July uh, today what? Yeah, July 3rd apply refresh time is okay then 25 oh this one is going by so it should be 22 25 okay so here we can create VLAN let's say if I, I was thinking to create a VLANs so let's say i want to create okay i think they can go like few vlans let's see how much you can create i think let's say four thousand yeah i think it can create number of vlans it's good i didn't try that initially but it it works so if you don't want the VLAN, you can just delete it. Go. So example, let's say you have an office network. I mean, for me, it's a home office kind of a setup. So <clears throat> I want to set up for Wi-Fi VLAN 100. Sorry, I put it wrong. 100 and Wi-Fi. And I want VLAN 101 for let's say VLAN 101. I mean, VLAN ID is number is 101. Name I can give maybe Office LAN. 
yeah <clears throat> then we can assign a port so if I go here I'd say I want this one to connect the Wi-Fi right so I just click edit and say this one tag VLAN so tag VLAN is meaning it's a access port equal to Cisco term so I put like a 101 I'm gonna connect my office network this one is none I don't need anything is a is a tag so this doesn't have like another trunk point that like you want to connect this interface to any of the other switches <coughs> so it's be only connected to a particular PC or something like that okay let me remove this for now yeah that's all so thank you for your time watching these videos if you have any question related to these switch configurations and anything related to network or cyber security you can post any questions i'm very happy to you know reply in my comments and next time i want to do again some of the video for how, I mean, I'm going to upgrade my home network, so I just want to do show some configuration how I'm going to do create the two few networks, then how I'm going to trunk between two switches, all those informations. And stay tuned and look for new. Uh, I'm going to post new new contents. Please share and subscribe. It's very much needed to grow this channel. And thank you very much for now. See you again later.